Yes, euh, je vais commencer en français. Je pense que euh, on est très content de notre, euh, notre match aujourd'hui. Euh, on savait que ça serait un match très difficile euh, quand tu joues des matchs comme ça euh, euh, contre une équipe qui est très physique et qui ferme des espaces. Euh, ils se mettent très bas, mais je suis très content de la performance de mes joueurs et comment ils se sont comportés durant le match. Euh, on a poussé deuxième mi-temps et on a été capable de trouver euh, le but qu'on qu cherchait. Alors euh, bravo à les joueurs, bravo au staff et euh, je suis super euh, content pour eux. So uh, basically, um, <coughs> super happy for the for the win uh, to be able to qualify. Uh, we knew it was going to be a difficult game. We knew uh, the type of game this was going to be. A team that's uh, very physical, closes spaces down, doesn't give you much. They're sitting in a low block and, and trying to hit us uh, with the counter. Uh, and I think uh, what I was most proud of was the players, uh, their mentality, uh, you know, because uh, it's easy to get frustrated in games like this where you're not scoring, but we were able to, to stay on task and, uh, you know, uh, find that breakthrough with the, with the first goal and then uh, seal it with the second. Thank you, Coach. We'll go with an online question from Michael Laboyer, and then we'll proceed with questions here in the, in the room. Go ahead, Michael. Uh, bonsoir, Ma bonsoir Mauro. Uh, une question en français. Uh, je voulais savoir, uh, est-ce que vous étiez satisfait à la mi-temps uh, de l'animation offensive de vos trois attaquants? Est-ce que vous avez uh, procédé à des changements ou qu'est-ce que vous leur avez dit? Non, je pense que on savait que ça serait difficile pour eux. Uh, C'est sûr que quand tu as trois attaquants en avant, ils vont fermer ces espaces-là et, et à la fin, il n'y a pas beaucoup de... Euh, d'espace de travailler, mais quand même, je pense qu'ils ont bien pressé. Je pense qu'à la fin, euh, on a eu des occasions en première demi de compter. Je pense que euh, on devait être un peu plus agressif euh, sous les centres, de peut-être euh, attaquer le premier poteau un peu plus. Et si, si on était un peu plus agressif au premier poteau, ça ouvrira euh, les autres espaces. Alors, euh, la deuxième mi-temps, ils l'ont bien sorti. En fait, qu'est-ce qui était de, une belle combinaison euh, avec Kyle Larin et il était capable de, de compter ce but. Moro, <coughs> excuse me, what did you say to your team at halftime to kind of keep them patient? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, we've been talking about this all week, the type of game that we were going to face. Uh, but the spirit in the dressing room at half was super, super cool. Uh, guys were calm. Uh, they knew that we were in control of the game. Uh, it was just to stay on task. A uh, couple of little adjustments in terms of now getting in the box, making harder runs in the box to, to be able to now uh, move them, uh, allow them to follow us into the box and open up other space uh, in behind. Uh, so those are some of the things that we talked about. But stay patient, uh, keep, keep playing, uh, and we'll find those openings. Hey, Mauro, it's Arash Madani from Sportsnet. Is this joy, relief? What, what, what is this kind of when you exhale, when you come off the pitch today? Yeah, I mean, I'm super happy for, for all our fans. I think that's the first and foremost. Uh, what this means to all our fans is huge, to be able to, to be in a, in a Copa America, uh, to play against the world champions. I think uh, this, is, this is what all the soccer fans and sports fans in this country uh, want to see and uh, I'm super happy super happy for the fans and super happy for the for those players that that worked extremely hard this week And just now under two and a half years ago before the World Cup this opportunity to at least get three more matches In a high quality competition. What what can that mean for this program? Yeah, th that's what we want and uh, you know, we had that experience in Qatar, uh, you know, where we didn't have uh, a lot of those tier one type of games, you know, in the in the buildup. And now um, we have the opportunity to play some of these high level teams and really allow the players to gain that experience that they need. And, uh, you know, you saw some of the young guys coming in in an important game and an important, you know, getting important minutes. Uh, and I think that that is part of the things that we wanted to achieve is to build that base for some of these young players that they'll be eventually ready in, in 2026. Hi, Coach. Mafra Alonso from Today and from Mexico. Um, you already talked about what does it mean to be for the first time in a Copa America, but could you tell us a little bit more about your group, like the feeling to be in front of the world champion as Argentina and Peru and Paraguay? 
Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, outside of the uh, the World Cup, it, it's a it's a very prestigious tournament, the Copa America. Uh, you know, you're gonna really feel the passion, the passion of, of this type of tournament and what it brings and what it means for those countries. And to be a part of that is is amazing for a soccer player. It's amazing to live those types of feelings and emotions, and playing in those types of games. So to have the chance to play against the world champions, uh, you know, I think it's it's a dream for a lot of these guys. You know, to you know to say that they will be able to play versus Messi in Argentina. So I'm happy for them. I'm proud of them. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that Copa America. Mauro Archbell with CONCACAF.com. Uh, Jacob Schaffelberg, anytime this kid gets on the field, it seems like he scores big goals, especially in CONCACAF games. Did it last year in Gold Cup. Now today, did it in Champions Cup earlier uh, this month. How far can, can this young player go uh, in this Canada team? Yeah, I think, look, he's uh, every time he's been called and every time he's come in, uh, he's done super well. He was... So sharp this week uh, in training, uh, one of the sharpest players in training. So I'm so happy that he was able to, you know, uh, transfer that uh, energy and that quality that he showed in training into the game. It was a great goal. Um, you know, he has that pace and that quality to, to deliver a good cross. And we saw that uh, two early crosses uh, that he put in. Uh, but he still needs, you know, he needs to gain experience. He needs to continue to play regularly. He needs to come in and he needs to you know, uh, continue to grow in this group. And, and I think, uh, you know, it's, it's a player now that's uh, doing more at Nashville, becoming more of an important player at Nashville. And, and that's important. Uh, when players start to become important at their clubs, uh, you know, they have added responsibility. And then they bring that to the, to the national team, right? They bring that confidence to the national team. And that's what we saw with uh, Jacob. Hey Mauro, congratulations on the win and the qualifying for the Copa America. Arturo Uskariski with BH News. It was obvious that your team dominated the match, uh, but in terms of defense, what do what what do you take away from this match uh, specifically? After seeing that Garcia was kind of like damaging, you know, that on, on that right win uh, mm -hmm. ahead of Copa America, um, what do you take? Um, yeah defensively from this match? Yeah, I think uh, obviously it's it's particular, this match. Obviously, the oppositions that we'll have in, in uh, Copa America will be a little bit different, all right? So it might not be the exact blueprint that you saw today, but we knew that uh, for us it was important to create overloads, right? To break, break a low block, you have to create overloads, and that means you may be in a 1v, in a, in a 2v2 or a 3v2 for us. So those moments happened, and, and we, were, we were ready to accept that those moments could happen, but we had to defend it. We have to make plays, and uh, we were able to make plays. He's a good player. He's, you know, he's doing well in Greece, uh, but at the end, the players did what they needed to do uh, to stop him. Mauro John Arnold from the Getting Concacaf's yeah. newsletter. I noticed you said you're very excited for the fans, very excited for your players. It was a nice win for the CV tonight as well. Have you allowed yourself to dream about what it would look like to lead Canada into a game against the world champion in Copa America? Yeah, I mean, right right now, it's you know we want to enjoy the moment. We want to enjoy this moment. Uh, I think it's a special moment. It was a tough tough loss in Jamaica. I think uh, you know a tough uh, few months there, but I think uh, there was a lot of work done. Uh, behind the scenes to prepare this this team and uh, now we want to savor this this victory but we know we we have a lot of work ahead of us to, to be prepared to play uh, in a tournament of that uh, that level uh, <clears throat> Joshua Cloak the athletic Moro the games are only going to get more difficult in Copa America when you look at today's performance where do you want to see improvement against the likes of Argentina yeah, like I, like I said, it's going to be a different game, right? So uh, different tactics, different strategy. Uh, I mean, today's strategy was specific to this type of opponent. Obviously, when you play Argentina, um, you know, they're a team that's going to be able to have the ball. So uh, deciding for us to be in a low blo uh, medium block or a medium to high. So these are the types of things um, that you will work on in terms of strategy. So. For us, uh, you know, we'll analyze all the opponents coming up and prepare in the right way. 
but at each opponent will have a different strategy and different tactics uh, to be able to now uh, adjust and be ready for, for what they'll bring and, and the way uh, and what we need to do to, to break them down. We'll go to a couple of questions from the folks joining us online, starting with Neil Davidson. Go ahead, Neil. Neil? Okay. We'll continue with Hadi. Go ahead. Hadi Raphael. Thank you, uh, Moro. Déjà, félicitations pour la victoire. Uh, Petite question par rapport à Luc de Fougeroll qui a eu sa première apparition aujourd'hui avec l'équipe nationale. Combien c'était important pour, pour toi de donner ses premières minutes euh, ce soir? Ouais, c'était euh, extrêmement important pour nous parce que ça, c'est le, le futur. Et je pense qu'il a très bien fait durant la semaine. Euh, honnêtement, euh, depuis la dernière fois qu'on était ensemble et, et aujourd'hui, il a progressé énormément et euh, je voulais le, le mettre sur le terrain et euh, à la fin, on a eu cette chance. Et c'est un jeune qui a un grand potentiel et euh, on est très content de, de comment il, il progresse dans le groupe. We'll try again with Neil. Go ahead, Neil. We'll do a last one here with Andrew Jones. Go ahead, Andrew. Thank you very much, Andrew Jones, for Believe Network. Congratulations, Mara, on the result. And can you talk about Tejan Buchanan's performance from what you've seen from his time at Inter and even without the lack of match play for him, how he's grown? Just your thoughts on his performance, including his assist to Kyle. Yeah, I'm super happy uh, to, to get Tejan. Uh, in the game and I think you know uh, going at Inter uh, sometimes you know when you get transferred in the January window it's tough to integrate and into those types of teams and uh, you know he's he's been there he's been working hard things have been going well he's he's super happy there uh, he's he's waiting for his moments uh, to, to get more playing time and and I think uh, for us over here he's an important player he's a player that uh, you know, obviously can make the difference on the wing, um, you know, for sure. Not having 90 minutes in, in his legs uh, is something that obviously uh, he for sure will continue to work on at Inter. But, um, you know, if you think about his game today, um, his ability to, to get crosses in and, and beat players 1v1. And then, of course, the assist uh, into Kyle Lahren. Um, so super happy for him. He's a player that's only going to continue to grow and gain more experience. And uh, he'll be a player uh, that'll be very important for us in the future, for sure. Coach, thank you very much. Congratulations on a great win and be best of luck this summer in the Copa America. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I see. Recording stopped.